He aims to spend $1 billion from the auction of greenhouse gas emissions credits to help shrink the budget shortfall. Industry groups call that a backdoor tax hike. And it also says that business groups representing steel mills, cement plants, refineries, and other heavy industries say the spending is illegal and it's not authorized under, under AB 32, and they're going to challenge it in court. We're joined by Dorothy Rothrock. She's VP of the California Manufacturers and Technology Association, and Heidi Kuda, producer for Studio 11. Uh, Ms. Rothrock and uh, Ms. Kuda, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you, Larry. Thank you for having me. Uh, Ms. Rothrock, you first. I assume you're not very happy about this. Well, we're not surprised, but we're not happy. Uh, uh, CARB has suggested that they wanted to do an auction of allowances in the cap-and-trade program for a few years, and we've been fighting it. Well, tell us exactly what, uh, what Brown is doing and why what, what is Brown doing is, uh, is probably illegal. Well, first of all, CARB doesn't have authority under the enabling legislation, AB 32, to actually conduct an auction to raise revenues in a cap-and-trade program. So that's the first foul. The second foul is taking that money and using it for purposes other than emission reductions. Uh, Heidi, yeah. your reaction? Hey, when Californians bought into AB 32, which is what this is all about, the California Global Warming Solutions Act, it was to clean up our air, not create a new revenue stream for Sacramento. It was sold to voters that the rest of the country would follow suit, and six years later, we're the only state to have cap and trade, and Texas and Arizona and China are thanking us for the business. Dorothy knows the number of manufacturing jobs we've lost. Uh, you know, her, her department, you know, says it's somewhere around 600 and 20,000 jobs have been lost in manufacturing and you know we want to curb these emissions that's all well and good but we can curb them down to zero as more businesses continue to leave you know Larry I've been producing this series saving the California dream where I talk to business leaders number one issue on why they leave or are growing their companies elsewhere are our uh, regulations number one at the list AB 32 so do the math uh, Dorothy, um, this uh, amount of money that Brown says he's spending, he claims he's going to be spending it for the purposes of AB 32, which is uh, to create jobs and also to benefit the, uh, the economy uh, and the environment. I is that what he's doing with this money? No, the purpose of AB 32 is to get emission reductions for greenhouse gases. His plan in the budget talks about natural resource protection, sustainable infrastructure development, uh, clean and efficient energy, low-carbon transportation, and, in fact, this isn't actually determined yet. There will be a plan yet to be determined on how this money would be spent. But it's definitely far afield from what AB 32's purpose is. Uh, and, and she's, you know, I talked to the governor's office today because there have been, you know, lots of accusations that this money, this revenue stream that they're already counting, I think a billion dollars in the first year, that some of that will be used to pay down debt. The governor's office says, no, that's incorrect. And like Dorothy said, they plan to use it uh, in green ways with green jobs um, but I think that's all still to be determined but I think to me the broader issue really is that we passed this in 2006 pre-recession to try to get you know to try to always be the leader in environmental issues six years later we can do the math it's been a big part of the exodus we already have the highest um, you know 50 percent higher uh, industrial elect electrical rate here in California than the rest of the country and you know this this mandate coming down on businesses that are already struggling is just going to be another you know nail in the coffin and uh, I'm sure Dorothy sees that in her work too. I'm talking to Dorothy Rothrock VP of the California Manufacturers and Technology Association and Heidi Kuda producer for Studio 11 Los Angeles. Uh, Dorothy uh, the people that are behind AB 32 would say well let the let the dirty polluters go let them go to Texas let them go to Pennsylvania we don't need them our air is cleaner and uh, it's a good trade-off to that you say what uh, well wrong uh, <laughs> California manufacturing is the backbone of the California economy and we are losing it at a rapid rate much more rapidly than the rest of the country we've got data showing that in the last four years US manufacturing uh, the, the states across the U.S. have increased manufacturing by uh, 40 uh, facilities versus California's 4.8 per capita. So we, we have actually been losing manufacturing. We're not gaining manufacturing back as the rest of the country is slowly gaining it back. And, uh, for example, in the last year over year, we lost 1,500 manufacturing jobs while the rest right. of the country produced more than 200,000. Uh, Heidi, the, the, the rap against Texas is, yeah, Texas may be attracting a lot of our businesses, but their air is a lot dirtier, and we don't want uh, our, our air to be like Texas's air. 
What's your reaction no, when you hear that? No, you know, we don't want our air to be like Texas air, but I'll tell you, you know, a lot of the businesses that I talk to who are going to Austin talk about what a green progressive city this is. And other people say, oh, China can have them because, you know, there's no regulations there. There are regulations there. There are regulations in other parts of our country. But the irony with California is that, you know, here we are. Of course, we want clean air. There's no, you know, there's no discussion about that. But you know, we'll open a new cooler facility, which will be flying in all kinds of produce and cut flowers, and you know, at a 16 times higher carbon footprint than you know uh, than we have here in California. And so there's just you know there's just a, not a lot of logic I think that goes into this. And well, well, and and we need these manufacturing jobs are jobs that we desperately need in California with millions of people out of work. Well, here's my frustration, and I'm sure Dorothy Rothrock, you share this. Uh, there was a, 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 a measure on the ballot for voters to, to just postpone the implementation of AB uh, 32 until unemployment got below a certain level. And yeah, California, well, voters, yep. yeah, California voters rejected that. So, Dorothy, what do you do with people who don't seem to care about the loss of, of businesses, the loss of jobs as a result of this uh, hysteria about global warming? Well, backing up, what makes what you're saying even more compelling is that greenhouse gas emissions actually are not harmful to health. So we are doing this for absolutely no reason whatsoever because we will, in fact, not be helping the environment. We won't be impacting global warming. The increase in costs associated with the cap and trade and the other regulations under AB 32 will simply shift emissions to other locations as we lose production here and it goes somewhere else. So global, global warming will not be impacted. Emissions will not be reduced over the world. Unbelievable. Well, Heidi Kuda, producer for Studio 11, Dorothy Rothrock, VP, California Manufacturing and Technology Association. Dorothy, Heidi, thank you very much for coming on. Thank you, 